Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, comrades. Welcome to another episode of Wu He Chili. Now, today we are going to look at the picture that riled up the Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison. The Army of Peace and its successor work to Morrison. Now we're going to start with this. Now this is the um, flag of the Islamic Republic of uh, Afghanistan. Um, we don't know how much how well, we don't know whether the uh, Taliban will retain this flag or uh, or use a new flag, but uh, we'll use this flag for now. The black part represents a dark past, red represents present conflict, and green represents a bright and beautiful future. Now we can see the black section of the rest of the red section is covered by the um, flag of Australia and if we look closer we can see the flag of Australia is covering corpses other corpses so we don't know how many or how many uh, people have been murdered by this uh, SAS soldier grinning in glee as he tr slits the, the child's throat. Very gruesome and very graphic piece of artwork. Now, we know in the Victorian era, the uh, 19th century, Britain came to Afghanistan and tried to uh, conquer Afghanistan, killing many lives and spilling a lot of blood. So this, so these corpses may be a hint to, or uh, to, um, well, Afghanistan's own past of uh, being invaded by Britain, and of course nowadays. The successor to the British Empire, the United States, and a um, constituent state of the British Empire itself, now called the British, re essentially renamed the British Commonwealth, Australia has come in and started continuing and began to continue the work of their, the dirty work of their ancestors. Not helped by the um, fact that Australia is basically, well, is a country created by uh, descendants of England's unwanted criminals. So you can see this SAS corporal gleefully slitting the child's throat. And we can see the, the child barefoot child is holding on to a lamb, a white lamb. Now, in the Bible, in the Christian Bible, there is um, there are plenty of references to a lamb, a sacrificial lamb, being presented to um, in the place of a human sacrifice. But this Aussie soldier is having none of it. You are, you know, he's, you're going to die, my kid. I don't care about your lamb. And it's also reference to the, um, to the fact that um, in halal cuisine, in Islamic halal cuisine, meat has to be prepared from animals that have been well, they have been slaughtered, but this, the method of slaughter is slitting the animal's throat and draining the blood, whilst an imam 
prays for the soul of the dead animal or dying animal. Now, of course, we all know how riled up Scott Morrison got, and a lot of conservative Australians got, and still are very, very salty with this picture. And um, <laughs> Scott Morrison even went as far as <laughs> asking the Chinese Foreign Ministry for an apology. So, Wu well, Chilin decided, alright, you want an apology, Skomo, here's your apology. You can see all these cameras, camera lenses for all, you know, uh, white faces pointing towards the artist. And it looks like um, the canvas is dripping with blood here. And we can see this uh, Australian flag draped over all these corpses whilst murder and killing are happening in the background. Corpses here. Uh, but what is Gomo doing? He is pointing to the artist saying, Apologise! Asking the artist to apologise for telling the world what he's done. In the words of Karl Jarr, the only thing that is fake with regards to this picture is that there should have been two children getting their throats slit rather than one. And the only difference between Morrison and Adolf Hitler is that Hitler did not ask Picasso to apologize for his painting of Wernicke being bombed. Okay, comrades, that's all from me for this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one. Cheerio.